what's up guys welcome to my podcast called disney reality where i take a look at all the different controversies movies and everything else regarding disney and today we are going to be taking a look at probably one of the most controversial things that disney has ever done now if you know the snow white movies you know that by now there are controversies going around talking about a specific actress regarding the live action snow white movie because at this point disney is completely milking the classic movies dry like they have made so many different live action movies from classic movies and none of them really stick as being good and of course they had to make another one but this one is completely different like the others because the actress playing Snow White is considered to be one of the most hated actresses in the entire filming industry. If you don't know who I'm talking about, her name is Rachel Zegler. Now if you don't know who she is, she's the actress that plays Snow White and is also known as a hated partner to work with in the filming industry because she's considered to be very rude. But also in this, we are going to be interviewing a couple of people, asking about their opinions on Rachel Zelger, and whether or not we should give her a chance to shine in the movies, or if we can just continue hating her in the movies. So, let's get into it. Excuse me, ma'am, are you familiar with the controversy regarding Rachel Zegler? Kind of. Okay, so based on what you know right now, what are your opinions on her so far? I haven't seen, like, the controversy of it, but what I've heard is that she's, like, bad and she doesn't portray the character, but I don't think they should have, like, a different colored girl than a white girl in Snow White. Thank you. Today I'm with Ms. Yu talking about the latest controversy regarding the new live-action Snow White movie. Now tell us, how do you feel about the controversy relating to Rachel Zoger? So regarding the controversy, I think Rachel Zoger looks like Snow White, so she would be a good candidate. However, I would see how I can see how people are, I guess, having backlash against some of the things that she's wanting to change to modernize modernize the movie itself. But I say, at least let's see what she's going to do, what she's going to change. I know she's kind of talked about it a little bit, but seeing it visually, because she's trying to modernize Snow White, and I think that may be needed because of the message that it gives to young girls and women. Um, So I'd like to see what they change and what they do first before I fully have an opinion, but I don't have an issue as far as race and who plays Snow White. Whereas some people may have issues with that, I think if you are um, experienced enough and you have enough acting skills and you want to do it, I think that everybody should have a option to be able to play Snow White. All right, thank you. Hello, sir. Are you familiar with the controversy regarding Rachel Zegler? Yes, and I think it's a very quote-unquote woke mindset for for her to be able to change a classic children's cartoon into something that she believes is necessary for this day and age, but to make men sound like that we're stalkers and things that we're not, turning the love story into something that she wants is inappropriate. All right, thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you aware of the controversy with Rachel Zegler? Yes, I am. All right. So do you have any opinions on it based on what you know of her right now? Yes. I don't like the fact that they're taking a children's movie and turning it more into an adult themed content. All right, guys, now before we continue on with the video, I just want to give a full disclaimer that I don't want any of you guys to be sending threats or hatred towards uh, Rachel Zegler because I'm pretty sure she has already had enough criticism or hatred, and I don't really want people to be adding on to the hatred to her. But also, I just don't want you guys to be 
threatening her or anything else because from what I've heard, she has been getting death threats by a lot of people. And I don't want you guys to be doing that to her as well. So just this disclaimer, please don't go out and threaten her or or at least do anything irrational at this point. All right, now back to the video. All right, and that's all the time for the interviews today. Now, based on all of the interviews, we can tell that things aren't really looking too well for Rachel Ziegler. So there are a lot of people out there saying that they don't like her and that she should be replaced, but I will give props to the one person who at least wanted to give her a chance to be in the movie. So props to her. But it's not really looking too well for her. I mean, she already has a lot of people on her wanting her to decline the offer of being Snow White. I mean, they already changed basically almost everything about the original movie and what made that original movie so special and magical to some people. Now, me, I can't give my personal preference since I've never seen the original Snow White movie, so... Yeah, but what I can say is that from what I've seen is that the original Snow White is magical. And that's the thing that really makes Disney stand out from other animation studios. I mean, they were the OG studio to make hand-drawn animation movies like The Lion King, Aladdin, Snow White, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, and on and on and on. And that's what makes Disney stand out from the others back then and nowadays. Back then, they make hand-drawn classic movies. And sometimes they would make their own ideas into Disney movies. But nowadays, they make original ideas for movies and none of them stick well. Take for example, Strange World and Elemental, the two most recent Disney movies to release and the two recent Disney movies to be box office flops. Now, if you are a hardcore Disney fan, you will know that that will set off a lot of alarms. I mean, Disney having a box office flop? No one has really seen that from Disney in ages. I mean, from Pixar, sure, they have made a bunch of different movies that didn't really stick very well. But for Disney, probably the world's largest animation studio, this Disney animation studio to make a box office flop, then that's how you know that they really messed up this time. Also, people really don't like these movies, mainly because of where they come from, but also because, from what I've heard, Disney tries to either have family trauma as their villain, or they try to incorporate things that happen to humans in real life to happen to an inanimate objects in movies, like race and immigration, like in Elemental, with the fire people or having family trauma to be the villain in Strange World. Now, I could give an example to Encanto, but that movie is a classic movie. I will admit it. It's a great movie. You guys know it. And the family trauma as the villain in the story is integral. It makes sense and it's just very well executed, especially for Disney standards. And also, before we leave here, I just want to give credit to all the YouTube videos that have allowed me to give out all this information to you guys. I'll be putting a link in the description for a website that I found all this information on. And also, you can just look up for yourself. Just look it up. Look up Rachel Zegler Controversy. And there will be a bunch of videos regarding this entire thing. There are videos where she says that all the fans have ruined the movie, giving her opinion that uh, this version of Snow White is quote unquote woke, and also her dueling it out with other actresses and having a panic attack on camera just because of people giving out their opinions on the Snow White movie. 
All right, but also still, like I said earlier in the break video, I don't want you guys to threaten Rachel over all this. I mean, all of this is just opinions, okay? That's all this is. It's all just opinions. We don't, well, at least I hope so. All of us, we don't give threats to actors that we don't like just because we don't like them or that they're in a bad movie. So, just a disclaimer again, don't go after Zegler and give her death threats because she's already had plenty of, of death threats in her time. Right now, what do you guys think about this whole Rachel Zegler situation slash controversy? What are your opinions on it? What are your thoughts? Do you think that we should give her a chance and let her shine her true colors? Or should we just keep running in her into the dirt until she eventually quits and resign being Snow White? Thank you all for listening to my podcast. It has been so much fun making this. It wasn't really fun doing the editing part, but doing all the interviewing was just really fun. This whole project to me was fun. And I feel like that I want to continue making more of these, but that's up to you guys. Do you guys want me to make more episodes of Disney reality, or should I just try to do something else? But thank you guys for watching, and thank you for listening.